Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. Today we are going to compare the cameras between the Pixel 7 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Both of these have great camera systems in them and we're gonna try them out today, do some comparisons between the different focal lengths and see how they perform against the other. So let's jump into it and here we go. Well, let's start off with the ultra wide angle lenses and both of these cameras have ultra wide angle lenses. The, uh, the Samsung S22 Ultra has a 0.6 ultra wide angle lens and the Pixel 7 Pro has a 0.5 ultra wide angle lens. So it's just a little bit wider. Now with that little bit of a difference, you may not even really be able to tell if one's wider than the other, but you know, you let me know. I'm not gonna go and shoot in a way that's going to exaggerate that difference. I want you to tell just by normal shooting circumstances um, if you can tell the difference between the 0.5 and the 0.6. Now, next up here, we have the 1X lens on here on both of them. These are both the normal lens, and we are just walking here with them and taking a look at both of these. And there's some pretty nice fall colors so we can get an idea of how they look. But we can tell here that uh, they both are giving us a very similar field of view, which is, uh, which is nice to see. But the Pixel actually has a little bit of a trick up its sleeve, and that is it can do a 2x zoom with a sensor, uh, really with a sensor crop. It's sort of like going from full frame to APS-C, whereas the... Um, whereas the Samsung S22 Ultra doesn't have that option. So let's go ahead, jump in, and take a look at that uh, 2X crop. So right now we are in the normal lens, and let's go ahead and use that 2X crop, that uh, sensor crop, the 2X zoom, and there we go. We can see there it punches in just a bit. It's not too much, but it does give you uh, a nice little zoom in there, a nice little uh, punch in. So. Yeah, that is the 2x uh, the 2x zoom on the uh, on the Pixel 7 Pro, and this is something that the Samsung S22 Ultra just doesn't have. Now, the Samsung S22 Ultra may not have that 2x sensor crop, but it does have a 3x optical zoom which the Pixel 7 Pro does not have. So let's go ahead and take a look at that optical zoom and then let's compare it to the 2X sensor crop and see how they look side by side. All right, this is the 1X on the Samsung S22 Ultra. Let's go ahead and hit that 3X zoom on there. And here we go. We can see how that punches all the way in there and get really, really fills that frame up with the uh, Washington Monument there. So. Yeah, it really does a nice job with that 3X zoom and it's really clean, I have to say. All right, let's go ahead and do a side-by-side -side and see how the 3X zoom compares to the 2X zoom of the 2X sensor crop of the Pixel 7 Pro. Okay, let's start both of these off here with their 1X zoom, just a 1X, the standard lens, so we can get a baseline. And let's go ahead and move the Pixel to its 2X and the Samsung to its 3X. And wow, look at that. That is a big difference right there. You wouldn't think there's a huge difference between 1X and 2X, but, or excuse me, 3X and 2X, or 2X and 3X, but there is a very big difference right there. So, yeah, all right. And mind you, this is, a, uh, this is an optical zoom on the Samsung S22 Ultra, whereas the Pixel 7 Pro is a sensor crop. Now, both of these cameras do have longer zooms on them. The Pixel 7 Pro has a 5X optical zoom, and the Galaxy S22 Ultra has a 10X optical zoom. So let's go ahead and just test them out and see what those differences are. And we'll do them individually, and then we'll put them side by side so we can really see how much of a difference that makes when you're talking about 5X to 10X. Because I can tell you already, Samsung has the Pixel Beat hands down in this category. Now this is the standard lens here on the Pixel 7 Pro. So let's go ahead and move that all the way to 5X. And boom, look at that. It really does punch in and it fills the whole frame with the, uh, 
with the subject there, which is the Jefferson Memorial. And this 5X actually is probably the perfect focal length for this shot because it really does fill in the entire frame with the, uh, with the memorial there. So, but let's go ahead over now and try the Samsung and see how it does with its 10X zoom. Okay, so here we have it. We now have the Samsung S22 Ultra up here, and this is the 1X. Let's go ahead and move it all the way to 10X and see how it does, and boom. Wow, that is a serious punch in. That is a lot. That is a whole lot. If you really wanna get in tight, that, that 10X zoom is just really gonna give it to you. I mean, you can see details that you could not see with the Pixel 7 Pro because you have so much more, uh, so much more zoom in there. You can actually see the statue inside there a little bit, uh, a little bit better. Now you can, you can go ahead and dial this back and get it to a 5X zoom if you want to. And that's about 5.5 right there. So you can do that, but it's gonna be a digital, it's gonna be a digital zoom and not an optical. All right, let's go ahead and put them both up side by side here so that we can see. And we have the uh, both of the lenses at uh, their main lens, the 1X zoom. So let's go ahead, we'll put the pixel at 5X right quick and fill that up right there. We'll put the, uh, the Samsung at 10X and boom, look at that. That is like, I mean, that is just no comparison at all. I mean, if you're talking about zoom power, that is just really, really a big, big difference. You can see the people there, they look like ants on the, uh, on the Pixel side. You can actually see them walking there on the, uh, on the Samsung side. So yeah, now again, you can always go ahead and dial this back if you want and get it to, uh, get it to a 5X there. That's about, uh, it's about even right there. And uh, yeah, so it is possible, but again, you're looking at a digital zoom instead of an optical zoom when you're at 5X on the Samsung. Now, if you find that the optical zooms on these cameras are not enough and you need to get in a little bit tighter, you do have the option of using digital zoom on here. And both of these really have some powerful digital zooms. So let's go take a look at them and see what they have, what they offer, and how they perform. Okay, so here we are on the Pixel 7 Pro first. Let's go ahead and we are at the normal lens. Let's go ahead and move it all the way to 5X right there. And yeah, we'll take a look at that. It zooms in uh, pretty nicely. Let's go ahead and take this all the way up to 20X, which, uh, which is its maximum digital zoom in video there. And look at that, that is, uh, that's doing pretty well. It's not the cleanest, but it is a uh, it is an option there for you. So let's go ahead and switch over to the Pixel, I mean, excuse me, to the Samsung S22 Ultra and see how that does. Okay, so now this is the Samsung S22 Ultra. Let's go ahead to its maximum uh, optical uh, zoom, which is 10X. And look at that, we get that in already at 10X. So we're getting already a much closer, cleaner look at its optical, uh, at its longest optical zoom. Let's go ahead and bring this out as far as we can get it. And this one's going to get us at 20X2. But I think the, it looks like it's a little bit cleaner because it doesn't have to uh, zoom digitally that much further because it's already starting at 10X. So yeah. I think overall with the zoom, Samsung and the S22 Ultra is still the king of optical zooms and zooms in general. Now both of these cameras have a portrait video mode or a cinema mode that you can use so that you can get a nice blurred background when you're shooting video and both of them do a pretty good job. Now I do think that the Samsung does do a better job than the Pixel 7 Pro. But one problem that both of these cameras have when shooting in cinema mode or portrait video mode is that you can only output your video at 1080p. So if you want 4K, I guess you're going to have to go to the iPhone. But I do also think that the Samsung's uh, cutout is a little bit better and the background's a little bit more natural looking, whereas the Pixel is very, very blurred out and a little bit too much for my preference. It looks okay, and I think it would look better if you had a better cutout with that super blurred background. Now, both of these cameras also have 
all kinds of great image stabilization in there. You have the regular standard modes and you also have sort of like an active steady shot in there, something that's gonna give you more uh, stabilization. And so let's go ahead and test them out a little bit. I'm just gonna walk a little bit with the regular standard modes and then I'll put them in more of an active mode and run a little bit and we'll see how one does against the other. Okay, so this is just walking with the normal standard mode on there. And I have to say that the image stabilization on these cameras nowadays are so good that it's just amazing. It's, many of them just look like you're on a gimbal. So anyways, this is just walking with, it, with the standard mode on both of the cameras. Okay, so I have them both now with the active modes on. And let's go ahead and just run a little bit here. And here I am running and trying to hold these things as still as possible. But you can get an idea of how much movement you're going to get with one versus the other. Now, I will say that the Pixel also gives you a few other options as far as stabilization that you can use. And let's go ahead and take a look at those right now. Okay, so here we are on the Pixel 7 Pro and let's go ahead and tap the little hand button for the stabilization modes. And we can see there we have the standard mode right there, it says for light movement by default. We also have the locked, uh, the locked mode for far away steel shots at 2x zoom. And we have the active mode for heavy movement and last but not least we have cinematic pan for smooth panning shots, half speed and that is muted. So you're gonna get many, many options when you're using the Pixel 7 Pro in regards to stabilization. So this is a little bit of walking footage as uh, it's getting to be low light because the sun is setting and we're under some tree cover here. So um, yeah, it's starting to get kind of a bit of low light and oftentimes these cameras struggle in low light because they use uh, optical or excuse me digital stabilization a lot of times and those digital stabilization methods often fail in low light so we'll see how this looks all right well those are the video features that i am most interested in with the camera and let's go ahead and take a few photos now so that we can just get an idea of what each camera can do and i'll throw up on the screen which cameras are which and uh and what zoom lengths they're at and all of that so let's take a look at a few photos before we get out of here
right, well, we are back here in the studio and I have finished comparing the two cameras. I've actually edited the video except for this outro, so I was able to take a look at the footage and I can tell you that they both look really fantastic. There are some key differences between them as you have probably seen. One of them that I've known noticed is that the colors on the Google Pixel 7 Pro look to see look much more natural to me as I see them in the real world. And I especially notice this when I look at skies. The skies with the Pixel 7 Pro seem to be very blue and vibrant like they are in real life. And then the, the Samsung S22 Ultra seems to have sort of a brownish, muddy look to the skies. It's not very pleasing when you see it side by side with the Google Pixel 7 Pro. Now, I think that the way that Samsung handles faces look looks much better. The overall footage seems to be a little bit sharper, a little bit cleaner, whereas the Pixel seems a little bit softer overall when it comes to uh, when it comes to video. But photos, I think it does a really nice job and it's probably a little bit better for photos. Whereas I think Samsung over processes their stuff a little bit. It's a little bit over sharpened and I don't think Pixel really has that problem as much. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna leave links to both of these uh, down below so you guys can check them out. And if you don't have them both, grab one or grab them both, see what you think about them. Or if you're looking to buy one or the other, I hope this video helps you. And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below in the comment section. I'll see if I can get back to you with an answer. So yeah, all right. Anyways, again, I'll leave links to everything down below in the video description. I'll also leave links to my Amazon page, my social media contacts, so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.